This is a review of the human brain model. This is the outside of the human brain model and you can see one half of the cerebrum. You can see the cerebellum down at the bottom and also the brain stem in white. And on the outside, you can see the folds and the grooves of the cerebrum. These folds or convolutions are called gyri. Single one is called a gyrus. And in between, you can see shallow grooves, which are called sulci. A deeper groove is called a fissure. There's a longitudinal fissure, which you can't see on this model right now since it's just a half, but that separates the two hemispheres of the cerebrum and it runs down the top of the brain. If you look on this side, you can see into the inside of the brain. This is a sagittal section. So again, this is the cerebrum. This is the cerebellum. This area here is called the diencephalon, and this is the brain stem, and those are the four main regions of the brain. So once again, within the cerebrum, you have gyri, which are the folds, sulci, which are the grooves in between those. You can also see the corpus callosum. That is white matter, which connects the two cerebral hemispheres. This is called the fornix, and in between is one of the lateral ventricles. You have one on each side of the cerebrum. The parts of the diencephalon are the thalamus. This is the circular region right in the middle, the hypothalamus, which is right below, and the epithalamus, which is behind it. This consists of the pineal gland right here. Also, below the hypothalamus, you can see the optic nerve. There are two, one on either side of the brain. So here's one optic nerve, and here is the olfactory nerve. There are two of these also. At the end of it, you have the olfactory bulb. Okay, so thalamus, hypothalamus, pineal gland. Back here is the cerebellum, and although you can't see this in this model, it contains white matter, which is called the arbor vitae. So it's branches of white matter that extend throughout the cerebellum. This space here is another ventricle. This is called the fourth ventricle. This and the lateral ventricle, they're both filled with cerebrospinal fluid. And right here, this little canal or channel, this is called the cerebral aqueduct, and this also carries cerebrospinal fluid. This is the brain stem, and at the bottom, it would connect to the spinal cord. The lowest section is called the medulla oblongata. This is the pons, and this is the midbrain. The midbrain also consists of the corpora quadrigemina found back here. There are four rounded bodies that make up the corpora quadrigemina. You can only see two on this half of the brain. The other two are on the other half. This is called the superior colliculi. There's two of these, one on each half of the brain. And this is inferior colliculi. There's two, one on each half again. And those are the major parts of the human brain.